Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my page, you're very much welcome. My name is Jessica, and to all my old subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So today I'm going to be doing an African food haul. Yes, I've not really seen anything like that on YouTube. So because I like food and because I like my African cuisine, I had to like, why not do a haul for you guys? Okay, if you want to see what I got in this haul, please stay tuned. The first item I'm going to show you guys is this. This is what we call Kalabayam. Yes, it's from Nigeria basically. Nigerians, most of the time they pound it, but we eat it like this, we boil it, and then we eat it with ndule vegetables eat it with soup with stew anything it's so nice and it's like it's crumbly it's so dry and it's so tasteful i cannot really remember retaining how much each of these products cost if you really want to know how much they cost please tell me so that next time when i'm shopping i'm going to like try to retain the prices for you guys otherwise if i can remember any price i'm going to be telling you so i got this but i know that this is 1.5 pounds i got two pieces of this yes and let me tell you we shop like every month we don't shop like every week we shop we shop like once in a month most of, most of the times and then if there is anything that gets finished or we run out of anything i can run and get and get it but basically we shop like once in a month in our house yes i got two calabayam the next thing i got is red oil let me tell you if you are in an african if you're an african you, you always know this you cannot you can, I mean, you cannot cook any African delicacy. No, you cannot cook most African delicacies without this. Most of our dishes we use red oil like this, palm oil, red oil. Yes, to prepare most of our dishes. So I got this for five pound ninety nine. So I got this for five pound ninety nine, and it's two liters. And uh, before I continue. I do I do my African food stuff shopping in London in a Pekka, but most of the items I got is from uh, Beans. If you if 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 you if you if you've been to Pekka, you probably know Beans. I got this from Beans. Most of the items from Beans, though. Yes. So I got two liters of red oil. It's going to take me for the whole month, and it's even going to be left though. I don't eat a lot of oil because I was craving Malta. Yes, I love Malta. Even though it, it makes me gain weight, I'm trying to watch my weight. I don't. Want, I want really, really. I'm really, really watching my weight. But I like food. What am I going to do? Yes, I got Malta like this. I got a pack. How much is it? I don't really remember how much it was, but it should be like two. I don't know. I, let me not go and say something that I don't know. I don't know the prices, but this is six. That's a pack of it. Yes, I really love Malta. Mm, I cannot wait to open one. Yes, I got the almighty Gary. Let me tell you, Gary is a lifesaver. If you're going to a boarding school, you know, I respect this man very badly. It has saved, he has saved my life numerous times. Yes, so I got Gary like this. How much is it? I got, I don't know how, I don't know the quantity, but I got it for 4 49 Yes, I got it for 4 49 To prepare my arrow, this comes in handy. To prepare my okra, I use this. In fact, my my fellow nigerians call it eba yes it really deserves that name eba so we call it gary it's gary it's very 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 nice very very nice so another thing i got i got plantains yes i got plantains i love plantains you guys fun fact i can eat plantain for a whole month i mean every day in different shapes forms and sizes yes i can eat plantains like this ripe plantains like this uh boil i can boil it i can fry it that's dodo and I can I can eat the green one the unripe as condre. In fact, I can eat plantains. I love plantains. I really, really love it. So I got three. We are selling it three, three like this for one pound. It's not bad, you guys. It's not bad because I remember in Cameroon was one time, but I was buying four. This quantity I was buying five or no, four, four like this for five hundred. That's a pound in Cameroon where it is produced. So if they're selling three like this for one pound, not bad, right? It's not that bad. So I got, I got, yeah, at least I got nine of them for breakfast or for to prepare for fried rice. So I do my fried rice because I like fried rice and I like okola rice. I fry it, I eat it. Yes, I got pepper. It's when I came in that I realized they call it bell pepper. I know it is pepper. It, it's red, but sometimes it is yellow, and the flavors differ. 
when I'm preparing arrow, I like to use yellow pepper. It has a kind of flavor. It's a kind of flavor. The flavor that yellow. There was no yellow pepper in today. I got two packs of it because I still have some left in the fridge. Yes. I, I, what dish am I preparing if there's no pepper in it? Is it arrow? Is it a goosey soup? Is it culture? What food dish will I prepare down? I will not put it. I will not bread pepper. Eh? Tell me, let me hear. So, Africans, we like spicy food. Yeah, that's basically the truth. We like spicy food. So, a whole without pepper, so something is definitely wrong. Uh-huh, where are my Nigerian people? You guys are the ones who made me like uh, Indomie. I didn't really like, I didn't really use the in eat in uh, noodles like that. I knew it burned. I don't know the way Nigerians eat noodles, like they really like noodles and they prepare it so well. So I'm like falling in love with it. When I don't want to eat or when I'm just lazy to go to the kitchen and start cooking fufu and whatever, I just do my noodles. I just do my noodles. Yes, this one is the uh, Indomie. I like Indomie. Indomie instant noodles. This is the chicken flavor. I really like it too. I think I've got 10 of them. Yeah, 10 of them. If you guys want to see my if you want to see my cooking videos, please. I don't know if you guys want to see something like this. If you want to see it, just tell me I'm definitely gonna do it for you guys. Yeah. Guys, I bought Miondo. Miondo, I bought Miondo. Let me tell you, when I came to the UK here, I went to a, a one of these shops, of these Afro shops, I saw Miondo and I asked it, I was excited, I was like, hey, big I was telling I was like, hey, I've seen Miondo. Do me like 250 pounds. I went there two times afterwards. They still insisted that it's 250 pounds. Is it rich club? Beyond for 250 pounds. What, what, what is there? Like, I was so shocked. I was my, my husband was like, maybe they did not sell you. And then, when another day, and they still told me that it's 250 pounds. I was like, guys, this guy is serious. It's 200 pounds. I asked them, do people buy it? They said, yes, people buy it. I said, no, this is not normal. I called my friend and she told me, no, she directed me to beans. I know they sell me another day. One pound fifty, is it two pounds? So I bought two packs of Miondo. Guys, I'm so excited. I've been craving Miondo for the but for a long time. It's been three years I'm not eating Miondo. So I'm really excited to prepare this. Yeah, I bought two packs. Yes, I bought Miondo's elder sister, Bobolo. So the Bobolo, what you want? So the Bobolo, what you want? I bought a, you know, a pack like it comes three. I think they're the same price too. Yes, I bought Miondo and Bobolo. My life is complete. Another thing I bought you guys is dry fish. Most of the dishes will need dry fish. Aero will need dry fish. Um, uh, a goosey soup, I will need dry fish. Even uh, a goosey pudding, I will need dry fish. Basically, most of the dishes I prepare often, I need dry fish. So I got this, this smooth, this is smooth catfish like this. Yes, I got it for six pounds. Yes, six pounds. Yeah, I bought, I bought the, so this time around, I bought just one pack of a goosey. This is a goosey. This is ground goosey because I think I have about two packs in the fridge and I wanted to prepare a goosey pudding this month. Yes, I'm very goosey pudding. So I just bought one pack to add it to it. So it gets, it, 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 if I run out of a goosey, so this one will cover up for it. Yes, I got a goosey. I cannot, that's every month. Those are, these are things that I buy every month. Yes. So, because I like changing, I like my snacks, I like to snack during the day, I bought changing. I bought two packs of, two containers of this, this is, this is from this brand, Jaffo Food, and I think they, they make it in the UK, I really like it, it's really soft and yeah, it's, I like, I like the way it tastes, I bought it for five pounds, and I bought two packs of it. Okay, so guys, I bought this, uh, this is a uh, fufu flour, I've never really heard of this, this is a, um, Kokoyam flour. I've never really heard of this until I came to the UK and I saw it. I was like, mm, let me try it and see. Mm, let me try it and see. So it was so nice, you guys. I didn't know. I didn't know that they made they made a, a, a kokoyam flour like this. It was so nice. You can prepare it with a goosey soup. You can prepare, you can even eat it with garlic. You can even eat it with sorry. You can even eat it with uh, what you call it? Aero. It's so nice, you guys. Fry it is so nice. I think this is this is from Ghana. Ghanians are the ones who eat it. I don't think Nigerians eat this. I don't think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But Ghanians eat it so much. And then, please, if you're Ghanian, what how do they call this soup? This soup here. How do they call it? So this is plantain. Like, can you believe that they make this plantain? They made fufu from plantain. I didn't know. And it tastes so nice, guys. If you're alone, try it. I don't know. Just you see it there. Buy it and try it. It's so nice. It's really, I think I can even eat it with granola soup. Yes, it's plantain flour. I think I can eat it with granola. It's so nice, you guys. 
very nice. So another thing I got is I bought I bought about eight packs of eight uh, packs of, of of spinach like this. Yes, I really like it. It replaces huckleberry for me. Huckleberry of Jama Jama. If I want to eat huckleberry, I use this. I just like parboil it for a few, like just for three minutes. And then I make sure that when you parboil it, make sure that you put a kangwa or I think kangwa in English is limestones, right? What's that? Is it like or be careful that you just put a bit of it, it will remain green. It's not gonna change its color, it's just gonna remain green like this. I really like this too. And you guys, I told you guys I like fried rice, I like coconut rice, I like rice and stew. So rice like this comes in handy. I don't know for some reason I don't really like the rice here. It's not like it's not it's bad. It's not like the rice here is bad though. It's nice. But I just tend to gravitate towards this particular rice. This rice from Africa. I don't know. It just tastes good to me. If you ever want to prepare, if you ever want to prepare fried rice, it really does. It, it comes out so well. So I like this particular rice. I don't know the brand, but any rice that just looks nice. That looks like it's going to be really grainy and nice. I like it. Yeah, I think I got this for like four ninety nine, and this is five kg. So another thing I got is about Aero. If you watched my Cameroon tag, I told you guys that Aero is my best dish. I cannot do without it. Like Aero, Aero. What kind of shopping am I doing when there's no Aero? So I got this. I got this. Uh, I think I got four packs, and I got water leaf. This is already washed. It's already uh, sliced and frozen. So I got four packs. This one was really expensive. I got this water leaf was like four pounds. Yeah, four pounds. So I got four. But it's because it's very difficult to preserve water leaf, it gets rotten so fast. So I think that's why it's expensive. And then, guys, I got what? I got uh, I got Ndole. 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 I told you guys that I like these things now. I like my Cameroonian phone. It's my fault. I like it. So I got Ndole like this. I got four packs. Yes, I got four packs. No, I got three packs of Ndole like this. So this is going to take me a whole month. Yes, so that's it. The last one on the list, I got peanuts, peanuts, you guys. I got peanuts like this. I think I have the ones, I still have some left over from last month. Yes, I like peanuts, like I always saw Gary, Kuwata Gary, with that's Gary mixed with milk, with granules, and sometimes chinchin. And my son likes peanuts, peanuts too. So, yes, I really always have this at home. Yeah, so that's it. Okay guys, so this is the end of my video. If you like this video, please don't forget to comment down below telling me your favorite item in this haul and also share my video. Subscribe if you don't subscribe and God is going to bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.